Hi, I am Arumugam. Hi, I am Irene. I started my PSA journey in the 1980s and servicing cranes was so difficult then. We had to fix the faulty cranes based on what the crane operators told us and the problem can be anything like voltage, circuits, etc. So we had to guess, evaluate and fix the problems on a trial and error basis every single time. When I first joined PSA, I was very impressed by the crane management system, CMS. This system allows us to access any crane's data from the office, even provides full visual representation and animation of the equipment in motion. So now, we can trace a crane's history log, track any possible source of breakdown and intervene before it happens. Actually, we already had the CMS in the late 80s, but due to limitations in the technology then, we still had to go to each crane for data readings and these data are in text and code forms. And where there's only codes, our engineers will make a mad dash to flip through manuals and trace the faults. CMS today can do a playback of crane logs. These playbacks allows us to revisit the operational conditions that led to the breakdowns for post-event investigation. When I started, there were only over a hundred yard cranes and a handful of engineers. The scale and number of engineers we need in PSA has grown so much over the years. Technology has allowed us to be more efficient and effective in our crane servicing. I think the work of engineers in PSA will only get more exciting. <laughs>